All right, what's up everybody? If you can't tell by the teardown destruction that is of my wheelbase, the rabbit plate, we are building a new base. We are building a new wheelbase here. We are just basically using some exterior four inch screws, some lag bolts for seat sliders. We have two five foot sections of two by four, a bunch of 18 inch sections of two by fours, and some two by sixes for upwards uh, angles. So we're gonna be building a new base. So I'm gonna go through kind of the steps on how I'm building it and uh, give you guys an idea of the new base, the new setup with seat sliders and everything that we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna get the plans, show you guys a quick rough drawing of it, and then uh, we'll get to building. So this is kind of the rough idea of what we're doing. It's a very simple style design, very rough sketch. Of course, we're gonna have another bar going down from here to here for support and stuff like that. So basically we're gonna build the base and then I'll kind of explain it after I put it together and then uh, I'll go step by step explaining you know all the ins and outs about it and everything that you would need other than screws, screwdriver and drill, and uh, wood. Because we're building this out of wood, we're probably either gonna stain it, wood burn it, paint it, not sure, we're just gonna get it assembled first. And then we gotta get everything uh, all hooked back up so we can get back to slide. All right, so we got the base pretty much put together. We just added our 18 inch section in between our two five foots and two 18 inch flats that are flipped sideways so that we can actually mount our Corbo seat sliders, which will go straight to our Energy Innovation seat. So uh, we're gonna get these mounted in and uh, get the seat set up and then work on the upper brace for the actual wheel and pedal placement and stuff like that. All right, so we got the NRG seat mounted onto our base with our seat sliders. So now we have movement, you know, back and forward for shorter drivers. Now we're working on pedal placement and the simple pedal placement, we're doing floor mount pedals. So I'm going to be using some more uh, 18 inch pieces and putting them at an angle so that I can raise the pedals up at an angle and uh, screwing them down onto those and then probably putting a board underneath so it's not sitting on the ground. So that's what we're gonna do for the pedals. So I'm gonna get them mounted up and angled up and then I will uh, come back to you guys, show you guys exactly how I did it. And we'll go from there. Energy seat, nice seat sliders. So now we got full movement in our seat forward and back. So we're good to go. All right, so we got pedals mounted at an angle based. We basically took two more two by fours and uh, screwed them right in 18 inches long, just like the uh, back crossbar and everything. Mounted the bottom one lower to the ground, screwed it in on the sides, mounted the other one a little bit angled up to give the pedals a little bit of an arc for the floor mount pedals. So the fan attack pedals are all mounted, seats all mounted, sliders good to go. Next is to get our wheelbase mounted up. So we're going to have to Basically mount that to our crossbar first, and then we're taking two by sixes and doing an angle to give us that angle part to mount the base on there. So you have leg room to sweep in. Of course, we'll put a brace on there too. So we're gonna go with the next step. We're gonna get that thing mounted up, and uh, we're gonna continue this project. So just like I said, quick overview. Bases all together, two by fours, two by fours on the seat sliders and on the pedal mounts for floor mount pedals. And uh, we're gonna go to the next step, which is getting this wheel mounted. The most time consuming part is getting the angle right and the feel of where I want it to sit. But uh, we're gonna go through that and we will continue this build on our new sim base with our energy seats. And uh, we're gonna go with that. All right, so we got angle pieces mounted at a degree that I felt was comfortable for my wheel base. They're not gonna be this long. These are gonna get cut down once I actually set the base in between where I want it to be with my knees. And then that will, what will hold it up. This will be like I said, a lot shorter. So it'll be easier to get in and you won't have to worry about it. I may have to angle it up a little bit higher so that it's uh, not as small of a V here, but this is the trial and error where I gotta kind of change the angle of things and figure out where it fits. So we're gonna keep going, figure out where I wanna put it at and then uh, go from All there. All right, so we made a good amount of progress on it just to show you what I got, what I did. I did two two by sixes screwed down on the bottom, angled upwards, and then a two by six across, just screwed in two sides for the wheel to mount onto, and it is angled backwards, so I don't have to use the riser, so the wheel is sitting how I want it to sit. The hardest is the hardest part of, I believe, this build is to get the angling of this two by six where you want it in proportion to, you know, your seating placement. So this is how we have it set now. We have two braces here, to keep it from uh, 
make it a little bit more sturdy, but it actually works really well. So this was the basic design. We're gonna do a little bit more work to it, but this is the hardest part is getting the angle for these up braces for the wheelbase. Basically, you just want to put one screw in there and kind of move it up and down, sitting in there, trying to get it, you know, where you want it, just moving up and down. You might need a second hand to do it. But so far, this is what the base looks like as of the moment. We're going to keep working on it, and I'll show you guys more once I get more built into it. All right, so we got all the Fanatec stuff finally mounted up onto it, kind of in position where I want it. We got the handbrake right up top by the wheel. Shifted down the bottom on basically a little console, nothing major, just a 1x6 and some uh, 2x6s up against it, screwed to the whole base. So just a quick overview, we had our base, which is 18 inches wide by 5 inches long, or 5 inches, 5 feet long. And then this, the angle parts, are going to be different height based on your position where you want it to have, you know, seating position and angle and all that. So these will be whatever length you feel fit comfortable for you. And we just have a Fantech mount. You can mount any type of wheel there, G920, clamp it on there, whatever, G29, whatever you have. And uh, we did some angle bracing to keep it from uh, sagging up and down. And of course we have our pedals mounted, which you can mount um, other pedals this way as well. So basically this is the new sim base. I do have to uh, now take all the uh, hardware and Fanatec stuff off it to finalize it with uh, staining it and uh, maybe doing some uh, custom work on it. Well, not myself, my buddy. And uh, then do wire, you know, wire tucking and making all the wire nice and clean and hiding it on there. We're also adding a brace here for a monitor mount, which I had ordered, which I'll show you guys in another video, of course, once I finalize this whole thing. But I just wanted to bring this video to you guys to show you guys on the new base, how I built it, and uh, so you guys can build your own base like this if you want. Very solid, very sturdy, super excited about it. Can't wait to get sideways on it, but that's gonna be in another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you tap that like button, subscribe. I do appreciate all the support.